Maybe. Coach Watson, uh, uh, talk to us about uh, the uh, game that, or the scrimmage game that we had uh, against uh, Watauga. A uh, little uncharted territory for a 3A schools with Ash County and Watauga. But what do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, so the scrimmage is more of a a uh, total trip scrimmage for. So we anticipating some long trips this year, and um, I originally. Uh, was hesitant about taking that scrimmage game, but I thought it would be a good idea for us to be able to learn how to uh, get on a bus and take a trip and um, be able to get off a bus and play the game and um, get our legs back underneath us and uh, play hard right at the beginning. But I thought we started off really slow. I think we f I felt like we had some little, um, you know, some jet lag, as they say, with the ride up there. And uh, eventually, as a, as the scrimmage went on, we, we did a lot better. But um, you know, the reason you scrimmage is to get better and get film and see things that you need to work on, and um, we got plenty to work on. What did you, uh, what did you think was a salient something that we needed to work on coming out of that, uh, that scrimmage? Well, so just for example, defensively, we got to do a lot better job of, you know, aligning correctly um, and, act like, like we say, read our keys and make sure that we're in the right position defensively. And you know, there's things to work on offensively too. You know, we, we want to play with better tempo than what we did. Uh, Friday night and, and and better execution. Turn it around. So, what did you find that was really cool and really good uh, that uh, scrimmage? Yeah, at, at times we we really looked good. We did some things that were uh, that were good. Cole Laney looked good at the mm -hmm. you know in the passes that he got to uh, throw, and then uh, I liked how Will Johnson went after went and got the ball. And right. um, you know our running backs, we think we got a pretty good group of running backs, and they did outstanding job blocking and carrying the football. So. Um, we're happy with that, and the you know the line of scrimmage on both lines of scrimmage were really good at times. So um, there were some bright spots there as well. Coach, you know every year when we play the Franklin Panthers, that's going to be a physical football game. It's going to be smash mouth. What are you thinking about uh, Friday night when the Panthers roll in uh, to play at uh, uh, here at, uh, uh, at Murphy? Yeah, absolutely, Brandon. You know, anytime you play them, you're going to get a, a physical football team, um, and they really uh, focus on. Uh, up front, offensive and defensive line, and they do an outstanding job at teaching their linemen, you know, how to play physical and, and you know, teach their scheme, and they do an outstanding job. So you're in for a fight every time you play Franklin, and hopefully we're up for it. Downhill, folks, uh, as far as the offense looks like, so linebackers and the lines better be ready. Yeah, absolutely. They, they are downhill and uh, run a lot of power schemes and a lot of counters at you, and, and uh, and they will find things that you're not sound at and they'll take advantage of that. So they do an outstanding job, um, the Franklin coaching staff on both sides of the ball and, and, and take advantage of anything that is not sound. Well, just the last question. Uh, so you're ready for fall 2022 football? Oh, we're ready to go, Brandon. We've been waiting on this and I know our, our team is ready to come off the hill and play in front of a, yeah. a, a full crowd. And, um, you know, there's nothing better than starting another season of, of high school football. All right, coach, go Bulldogs. Go dogs.